guys and welcome to today's video. It is going to be a date night. We are headed out, just Ben and I. We haven't had a date night in a month, so we are excited to get food. Get food, apparently. Apparently, we're hungry. Apparently, Ben is starving. Um, so starving for a good burger. We are. We're gonna go get some burgers at our favorite spot at Disney Springs called House of Blues, and then we're gonna just go and park at. Magic Kingdom and then Resort Hop. We are not going to the parks, one, because we are blocked out. We just have the Florida Pass, which is the very lowest pass, and so you have blockout dates. But I also wouldn't want to be going anyways because it is a mad, like it is chaos. It is spring break, and um, today was Tron opening day. So if you haven't seen my video about Tron, I will link it somewhere in the book, um, in the top for you guys. But it is Tron opening day. Genie Plus has sold out yesterday and today. Today is Tuesday. And it is ridiculous. Like, <laughs> I've been seeing people post about it who, like, I follow who go there and just watching the wait times. It is, it's madness. And even when it was Christmas, I don't think it was this bad. So, uh, yeah. So I'm kind of just glad that we are blocked out because we wouldn't be going there anyways. But with that said, we'll see you guys at Disney Springs. Here's the menu for House of Blues. I started to talk through this menu and it was very loud and it was just echoey and everything. So you can pause to read whatever you would like. Everything that Ben and I have had here or even in the past that we've brought family to, everything has been delicious. So I don't think that you're going to go wrong with anything. But we always get our burger here because their burgers are amazing. Ben's go-to is the Juicy Lucy. This, in this video, I got the barbecue bacon smash burger. Okay, we are done with dinner. It was delicious. I got the barbecue burger and then Ben, of course, got his normal Juicy Lucy. And then we got like wings as an appetizer. We don't normally get appetizers but we decided to get wings they were really good so yeah we're just kind of walking around the back side um, of the restaurant and there's this like section where you can like walk up and then there's a balloon but it's like Saratoga Springs is over there but yeah this is like my favorite quiet spot to like escape um, the hustle and the bustle so just come back here and enjoy but we might grab some ice cream, but we'll see. We're not really planning to stay here super long because of course everybody is like flocking out of the parks now and like coming here. So we're just gonna take a little stroll and then go resort park. Okay, this shirt is adorable. It has a little Mickey on the pocket and then if you look on the back, it has like all of the characters, the classics. have these shirts. This is like super vintage. This is like part of the vault collection now. They have like all of these like old oh, pictures funny. on the monogram. All these eggs that are hand painted. Oh, sorry, my finger was in front of me. I know, but they do have the little like carrots. But then they have like figments and the Epcot ball in the shape of an egg. They have orange bird. Oh, they have Luca. Oh, wow. Look at the castle. Yes. Oh, yeah, I love This is so pretty. It's got like the drawn up lands and then it has like. I'm zoomed in for you guys to see this. So cool. Look at the Alice in Wonderland and the gears. That's like so detailed. Yeah. So detailed. All of these 
they're so pretty. No, there's like a Princess and the Frog Tiana one. Looks like it should have like a light. The light may have burned out. Like that. This one is really cool. Like the detail on this one is so cool. I'm gonna be able to vlog because my phone is dying. It's like at 20%. So we're gonna go we outside. We have of our chargers at home. <laughs> like, I'm not even kidding. We have like eight chargers. I even had to get one at Disney one time. That's like the portable ones that you like drop off at the box and like get refills on it. Because I left one one time. But like, not getting another one of those. So we are gonna head out and hang out. Yeah. They have this going on at the Polynesian in April. They have all the movies listed down there. I'm Sorry, Ben was like reading it. But yeah. Bring her, like, on. So we are gonna get like a Dole Whip here at the Polynesian, but the line is like ridiculous. So we are just kind of walking around and checking stuff out. Our goal is maybe to stay here sometime later this year at either this one or the Grand Floridian. So we're kind of like scouting it out go home late tonight and like look it up. This is the little kid's splash pad, it's so cute. Okay, you can barely see me. Here, walking through the dark. Hopefully <laughs> we won't get the mug. <laughs> we are making, we're gonna just walk to the ticket transportation station besides going on the monorail because this is actually the, like the first stop from the ticket transportation and then it goes to like the Grand Floridian, the Magic Kingdom, and then the Contemporary and then back to the ticket transportation. So it's just gonna be easier for us to walk, so. Good thing we didn't do leg day today. We had leg day today for our workout. Guys, I'm sorry you cannot see me. It's like a podcast. <laughs> it's just, there we go. <laughs> Been giving the mood lighting. But anyways. <laughs> I have lost my train of thought. That is very bright. I will say it's really cool because I have like little like tiki torches throughout the path. Oh, they have like a grill over there. That's cool. But they have like tiki torches and there's full moon and there's ben and then there's like a little uh picnic area over there and they actually have grills that you can grill out so it's pretty cool but hopefully i'm gonna see if they actually have any like a place here for sophia's birthday so we're already planning to do something special for her birthday we have we actually got the dessert party so we're gonna do that. So it'd be kind of nice to just stay like on the monorail. Then you could just go like stay all night at Magic Kingdom and come back to your hotels. You don't have to drive home, but we'll see. It just depends on if they have it available. But then for Ben and I's anniversary, we were gonna go away and then we decided not to because we're gonna go to a concert and that's in Tampa. So then we're just gonna stay here. So maybe one of the times we'll be able to stay here at the Polynesian and we can give you guys room tour, but we're just making our way. It's actually really peaceful. I was like telling him, I feel like that the Grand Floridian was actually pretty peaceful too. And it was actually busy, but it was peaceful still. And here it's peaceful too. That the hotels here are actually 
not like chaos or whatever. I guess because it's just like spread out, so that helps. Well, it's also almost time for the fireworks, so probably everybody is gone. Yeah, because Happily Ever After just came back, so, so everybody's like, but like she said, you could see them. As long as you're like on the, like near the lake or something, you could be able to see them. And it's not the same. True. But, yeah. Anyways, we hopefully will find our car at some point. Okay, mm. we made it back to our car before the fireworks, way before the fireworks, so that was the goal be a mad dash afterwards but because the, the parking lot when we first got here was like barely full and now it's like very full <laughs> so everybody definitely came back because today like i was mentioning earlier it was really busy genie plus sold out super early genie plus was the most expensive that it's been Toronto opening day happily ever after is back as of yesterday so very busy so i'm pretty sure people probably just took a break because it was hot here today it was like 90 something so I don't know how to respond to that. Okay, Siri, I wasn't talking to you. I don't know why she always does that. But anyways, I wanted to give you guys a tip. If you drive here or if you rent a car and you guys are using the My Disney Experience app, like download the My Disney Experience app, there's actually in your car, there is a, or in the app, there is a car locator. And I will do like a screen recording for you guys highly recommend that because a lot of people I know a lot of people like lose their car and all at the end of the night and it's just helpful to be able to find your car so just a tip I'll do a screen recording for you guys to show you where it is a lot of times it will prompt you and give you like a notification to be able to access it but just in case when you open the my disney experience app you're going to hit the three little lines at the bottom and scroll all the way down and hit car locator if it doesn't prompt you already, this should immediately prompt you. For example, we were located in SCAR, so it would say SCAR, and then you would select your row and hit save, and then you would be able to go back and find it the same way at the end of the night. But anyways, we are going to head back home, so I'm going to go ahead and end today's vlog. Hopefully, I got a little bit of footage, and now I stopped vlogging a lot because my phone is dying, but thank you guys for hanging out with us. I hope that you guys will like and subscribe, and see you guys in the next one. Bye!